I'm Beth Swift, and I'm the archivist of Wabash College. My father-in-law uh, taught mathematics here. He started in 65, taught till 1989. Sitting at the kitchen table and listening to my father-in-law talk about you know, curriculum spats they had in, you know, 1968, or you know, how he received tenure from Byron Trippett while walking across the mall. Um, I mean, that was with different times, uh, for sure, but, you know, those stories did help inform my perspective. Uh, technically, we should start with this, which is the first page of Edmund O. Hovey's scrapbook, dated uh, 1832 November, and that was our founding, and this is actually a record of the founding meeting. I just love it for the optimism. These guys were young guys. They were missionaries and uh, a real determination to uh, educate uh, Hoosier, Hoosier fellows. I mean, this was the West and, uh, you know, kind of dangerous. They realized if they were to have quality preachers and teachers, uh, they would need to create the instance. Uh, for that to happen in this area. So this artifact is uh, very special and not just because it's rare but also because of the way it came to us. When the Ball department store in Muncie was closing down and one of the things they had was this poster in their cafeteria. I had a call from Dick Hughes when he read my blog and he saw the awful graphic that was with it. He said, I have the original. Would the college be interested in it? And I said, oh, absolutely. So the college sent it to Chicago to a paper conservator. But what we found when she took it apart was this side, which I think is really the reason that this uh, survived at all. There is a letter on the back from a Notre Dame football player to his parents. And so I think mom saved the poster because the letter was from her son. He, he spends the first part kind of trash talking Wabash, how they kind of didn't uh, play up to the you know level of Purdue and, and whatever. A little bit more about the game, some about the weather, and then ends by saying both teams went on and had a lovely dinner at a hotel there in South Bend, which was the custom the teams would take dinner together. Wabash didn't win this game. In fact, they beat the pants off of us, but it is the first time we ever played uh, Notre Dame. And uh, I just love this artifact. And this artifact is of particular delight to me. This came to us, I want to say, five or six years ago. And it is a chair that was given to our President Tuttle on the occasion of the semi-centennial of Wabash in 1882. His daughter married Everett B. Thompson, who was a descendant of one of our founding family members. And uh, he was a minister and moved to California. And Tuttle's daughter took the chair with her, and that would have been about 1890 or so. And it was in California that entire time. And I had a call from a woman whose last name was Thompson. She was moving out of her apartment in San Francisco and wondered, did Wabash want President Tuttle's chair? And, oh yes, uh, we said, and, and it gives us a chance to reflect on President Tuttle, who was huge influence on Wabash came during the Civil War and was president for over 30 years, so a lot of impact. The next artifact I'd like to share is one I, I just absolutely adore. This is the printing plate from the first edition, first issue of The Bachelor. And as you can see, there's a portrait here. This is Thomas Riley Marshall and they are celebrating him uh, because he's just become governor of Indiana. He's a Wabash man, he was a Figam. One thing I love about The Bachelor, we see the fellows come back for a big bash and we always put out the bachelors of their era and they start looking through them and you know, in no time they are 22 again and remembering the things that they did and the friends that they have, it's just kind of a magic. It's just kind of a magic publication for that reason. Everything we have in the archives 
um, has been given to the college. We have no acquisition budget. When students come in and they use our materials, it just feels like that's the highest and best use of our archives. I just love to see the guys, uh, you know, look, look into the past. And uh, I love it best when they realize that the past students are not so very different. Mm -hmm. There are so many amazing stories here at Wabash. And just to be able to have a platform to share them, um, I have loved that. Mm -hmm. I will miss that.